everyone. So here today we are going to be dissecting our sheep brain. And this is what it looks like when you get it out of the bag. You'll notice you can't see very much here because we do need to do some dissection for this. Okay, so first of all, see this tough outermost covering? That is going to be the dura matter, and we need to remove all of that dura matter. Mine seems to have been sliced open somehow, but yours probably will not be. Okay, so we're going to cut through that and we're going to remove all of that dura matter. The other thing that we're going to be removing is this stuff here. This is actually fat surrounding a whole bunch of the olfactory nerves. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and remove that. It also will be able to see all our olfactory bulbs and then our optic nerves will be underneath all this fat as well. Okay, so we're going to try to preserve as many of the cranial nerves as possible as we go through this. Okay, so start by cutting things off. Okay, so I know for the last type of dissection I was like, no cutting, no cutting, but for this one we definitely need to cut. So we're going to use our scissors and we're going to remove all of this dura matter. Okay, so some of it, don't leave the dura matter that sits inside of the longitudinal fissure. All of that is going to come out as well. So we're going to cut it all out. Sorry about the plane. It wasn't my plan. So we'll cut all this off. Completely remove it. Okay, so it's pretty easy to remove the dura matter on the superior surface of the brain. It gets much more tricky when we start looking at the inferior surface because all of those cranial nerves will be embedded through that dura matter. So we're going to need to slow down a bit once we get to the other side, but for now it's pretty much just cut into it. Now, for this right here, so this is the transverse fissure, you're going to need to actually cut down into it, okay? So not just along the surface, but it actually goes deep into that, the fissure. So we're going to need to cut like towards it, okay? So make sure you look where you're going though. Don't try not to cut the brain itself. And then peel all of that away. Okay, so at this point we can start to see some of our bigger structures here. All of this stuff here is the cerebrum, the cerebrum. And you notice this back here, this is the cerebellum. My cerebellum has been really trashed in the packaging of it, but hopefully yours looks okay. Okay, so here's the cerebellum here. And then coming out the end here would be the spinal cord right there. You can even see the central canal of the spinal cord, the hole in that middle there. Okay. Okay. So now we need to go ahead and start cutting into it to try to remove it. Now again, this this kind of fat right here. There's some there's some pretty you know important things in there. So we're going to try to remove it without destroying everything. So the first thing I want to do is just go ahead and trim away this excess stuff here. No need to hang on to any of that. We don't need any of the dura matter. The dura matter is going to be completely removed. My scissors are getting weak. Okay. Now, if I gently kind of open it up, you'll see that when we look in there, there's some things that look kind of like strings. Some of that is actually arachnoid matter, like this stuff right here, that's just arachnoid matter. But some of the more substantial looking string things, those are actually cranial nerves, and we want to go ahead and keep them if we can. You might not be able to keep every single last cranial nerve, but let's see what we can keep. And so for this one here, this right here, we want to snip it as close as you can to the to where the dermat is. That way you keep at least a bit of it. 
Because if you just yank it off, the whole thing will come off and then you won't have any, any piece of it. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and snip it right here. Snip. And then there's two, they're paired, one on the other side, snip. Okay, now the other thing that we will be removing is this right here, let me show you this. And this is the pituitary gland pituitary gland is inside of there and the pituitary gland is really difficult to keep because it's connected by this very thin little line of little connection called the infundibulum infundibulum so we're just going to go ahead and remove it so I wanted to show it to you before we progress but this would be the pituitary gland right here the pituitary gland right there and it's going to be removed okay Now, the other thing is, let's see, try to see what I'm working with here. We're gonna try to keep, ooh, shoot, mine's already really trashed. Oh, I hope you guys got a better one than this. The other thing that I want to try to keep is the optic chiasma. Chiasma means cross. And so what you're going to see on the bottom here, just sort of in front of or anterior to the infundibulum is you're going to see a cross structure at the cross that's going to be the optic chiasma optic chiasma and then the two parts that come off of that that would be the optic nerves okay so the optic nerves and the optic tract would be the part sort of posterior to the cross so anterior to the cross is the optic nerve the cross itself is the optic chiasma, and then after the cross or posterior to the cross would be the optic tract. We're gonna try to keep that as much as possible. Unfortunately, mine is already really, really trashed. <laughs> Again, I hope yours is better than mine, but keep as much of it as you possibly can. Okay, yep, I only got just the tiniest bit of it. Hopefully yours is better. I'll look on my other old brain to see if I can get one that looks better. Okay, so there we go. We got it all off. Okay, so again, during the removal process, we took off all of this fat, this big fat here, and any of the cranial nerves that are embedded in it. For example, here, this is a piece of my optic nerve. There's the other optic nerve. I wish I had tried, been able to keep more, but unfortunately I was unable to. I'll look on my old one, see if I have any more on that one. But I do have a piece of the cross. Okay, so this little nub in here, whatever's left of it, would be the optic nerve. The, at the cross here would be the optic chiasma. And at the other side, that would be the optic tract. Okay, and so infundibulum would be this area here. There's actually the mammillary body mammillary body there. Okay, so the pituitary, which is this piece right here, was removed, and the piece of the optic tract was also, uh, optic nerve was also removed, and the dura mater. 